So today I got a delivery and before you pass judgment, before you tell me that I'm nuts, before you tell me I'm making a lot of work for myself, because in a way I am a little bit, but I'm working on the lights for the boat. And some of you know, I bought these, um, they're actually rain cups, so they catch rainwater and um, I have some caps we're going to put on these to seal them shut and then um, some decorative stuff here. But how am I going to attach these? I'm going to show you. First, I want to introduce you to a new family member. Oh, you're going to be shy. Oh, look at him. <laughs> He's a new baby. He's so cute. Ah, there you go. Get it, buddy. He's been playing ping pong ball running around. All right, and he's off. No doubt, just like with George, he'll pop up in a video coming in. At least now you know I have a new baby. So, lights. So I have some LEDs to go in here. I have 12 of these, and I have 12 LEDs, and those are dimmable, which is terrific. Um, it's going to make essentially reading lights and some task lighting. And um, so I'm building my own light fixtures. <laughs> and remember, we're honeybee themed. And so this is not going to be right for a lot of sailboats, but it is for us. And I picked up this little guy, which is a cast iron honeybee, and it will be in the shower um, to use to hold the shower curtain back, which will be kind of cool. And I found a coat rack that has multiple fingers here, right? And it's going to look great on the boat. Kind of cool, I think. All right, so let's look at these arms. Okay, so what I did is... Um, I bought this package on eBay, and they are vintage um, sham, you know, chandeliers and light fixture arms, but they're solid bronze. I mean, this is like old stuff, and um, there are multiple pairs and matching sets and stuff in here, of a number of different numbers, and that's okay, because the boat will have lights in different areas and I can have at least two that are opposite each other at any time that match and I'm okay with that so that's going to be good enough well I also found look at this we all know honeybees work with hexagons and um, so I found some brass rod that's made out of hexagon this I'm going to make with these arms into some towel racks right or places to hang things, um, which will be really cool. So I have two of those really big um, rods, and I bought four of these thinner rods. So these could be used for wash rags or hang your sunglasses on or things like that. So I've got four of these guys. So here we go. And these, like for example, I've got five of these guys, and you can see they've already got a bracket on the back here for mounting and um, you can run wire through them. They're all hollow so you can run wiring through them and um, essentially what I want to do is uh oh we got into something over there so this will have an escutcheon plate that goes across the back here that's copper and let's say this part is up so then the light will just bolt in on the side like that and you'll have this nice copper plate here. So that's the general idea for the lights. Um, and there are a lot of different little shapes in here. And I don't know what I'm going to use where. Um, some of these that have, this has little flat backs to them. Um, these have little flats, little flats, tangs. And at the end of the day, if they don't have on them what I, what I need, well, I can make whatever I need with my TIG welder, so I'm not worried about that. Whew, there we go, shower curtain. 
And because I have more of these than I need, I could take some of these and like I could mount this into the wall, for example, and then I could TIG weld this across here and make it into like I could do on this one too, um, to some towel racks. So that kind of gives you the idea of what I'm thinking in terms of like towel racks and that. Um, these are really cool because they have like a man's head on them. I'm sure there's a story there. Um, now I will put these in a cleaning solution. Some vinegar probably and um, do a little electrolysis cleaning on them. I do have the ability to powder coat if I wanted to powder coat them. Um, I think what I'm going to do is clean them up, make them shiny, and then um, put a clear coat on them and then they'll stay shiny for me. Um, but I could use these in little brackets and stuff and all sorts of things in the boat. So yeah, I've got 44 of them. So there's all kinds of choices and shapes and stuff to play with. So depending on like what room I'm in, if I want something that's close to the wall, I can use a little one or if I could go out bigger with something like this. Now these ones in this pile don't have any matching pairs. Um, so I could do what I want with these. And, um, you know, I could always turn around and sell them if I wanted to, right? So, I think I did pretty good at the end of the day. I don't think that this was a waste of money. And, I mean, it's all bronze. Um, you can't go wrong with that on a boat. And I found some drawer poles that are rather ornate, that are vintage bronze. I have about eight of those. And they're actually going to match these exceptionally well. So, I guess we're going a little bit more classic. <laughs> I bet you didn't see that coming, because I sure didn't. Um, but, they will be unique, and I do think they're going to be beautiful at the end of the day. Um, I mean, with fine quality materials and some ornate shapes, I don't know that you can go wrong. Um, yeah, it's a little bit eclectic, which is kind of not my style, but... It's cool at the end of the day. You, it's good to have a little bit of personal growth and to do something different, right? So, yeah, these are going to be um, some kind of interior something. Um, and, of course, I could always, you know, use these as uh, shelf supports, for example. A shelf bracket, that would look beautiful. Um, so there's all kinds of things I can do with them. And um, these guys... You know, more honeycomb bee shapes to put throughout the boat to add to our theme. So, I don't know. I know a lot of people won't like it. And that would be why you're not going to do it on your boat, right? <laughs> I know, this is kind of nuts. And it's, uh, I did not see this coming myself. Um, when I started looking at the parts to put these lights together, I didn't like what I was seeing. It was just too basic, um, kind of vanilla. <laughs> yeah, you people know what that means, I'm sure. But um, yeah, I just, I wanted something with a little bit more flair to it. And um, I didn't want any kind of modern stuff because that just doesn't work for me. I mean, the boat is an 85 boat, so we're not going to be a modern boat. Um, but I think the lights are going to be beautiful. And the interior decor with all this bronze and uh, some maple is going to look neat. Let me show you this. This is not even finished yet, but this is a piece of that uh, maple that I put under my boot puller. And it's a pretty piece of wood. Hey. Um, and everything else, of course, will be varnished in the boat. And it'll be, it'll look gorgeous. Um, so we'll have red leaf maple. Um, interior and I'll seal that inside and out so I should not have too much problems with you know the sugars in the maple feeding molds and stuff as long as it's sealed in and out and um, so that is my plan but I don't know this looks a little different doesn't it <laughs> but it's letting my creative juices flow in a way I haven't done for a long time and that's kind of cool so there we are there's my lights so I think they're going to come out pretty cool at the end of the day. They have some pretty little 
honey bee lights run off of efficient LEDs, and nobody in the world will have a boat like mine. Bye, everybody. I love you.